Hi, I'm Francois. Welcome to the channel. Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with a quick sound design tutorial. So we are talking about this lead pad sound here. And you see we have gliding elements, so we are gliding from one note to another. And we are doing this sound with Serum and we are playing this pattern. So let's go into the track, duplicate it and put it on solo and well basically drag in a new instance of serum or delete this one and drag in a new instance this is how we start from scratch and we're going to need pulse waves so um for example we are going to need a sub oscillator pulse wave so we are selecting this pulse wave here and we're going to take down the level put oscillator a off play it Okay, and we are going to put it on mono in voicing down here and on legato. Okay, and now, well actually we could put in the melody pattern down here, so we are always aware of our position in the track and we put this one up here. Okay, let's put in a bit of portamento, quite a bit, so like halfway up. That's good, we can put up the master volume. Very nice. And now we are going to select oscillator A and pick out one of those wave tables, pulse wave, um, medicine head, put it in the 3D mode here and put it into unison mode, eight voices, blending down on three o'clock bit more detune, bit less detuning. Okay, that's already pretty good. Put up the wavetable position. We are going a bit in here, see how it sounds. more or less the sound we're looking for put the fine tuning up a bit because we're going to use two oscillators we don't want them exactly in the same pitch range we are just fine tuning them a bit off so it sounds a bit more detuned and we're going to put in the second oscillator B another pulse wave in this case we can use inception and if we put this into 3D mode, just play this one solo. More voices. Detune it down a bit. to play with the filter um, selecting this filter 
putting in oscillator A, B, the sub oscillator as well, and maybe also our noise. Let's quickly check for noise. <laughs> use another um, I like this uh, this one so we take this J 106 high pass noise pitch it up a bit a bit of um, level up there put the other elements back in there it's just for the textures take down the level of the first oscillator a and now we have to put in the filter to make our final level decisions here because we are filtering we are cutting off some of the high end of the sound so Keep the cutoff up here, put in a bit of resonance. Put up the attack of our first envelope, the one that controls our amp. Okay, and now we can go to the effects section, put in a reverb, put in a delay behind our reverb and put in an EQ behind both. Well, we can put up the size of our reverb, take the other two effects off for now. Um, a bit of a low cut, up like 30%, damping up quite a bit, so something like 90% and the width down. Okay, let's put in um, this delay and take the mix down a bit, but we can keep it that way. Okay, and let's put in an EQ and shelf the low end with a bit more um, frequencies, up to 800 maybe, and take down the gain here. And do the opposite for the top frequencies. have a volume automation here with the utility. I'm taking that out quickly. Well, there's basically our sound. Now you can play around with those uh, pulse wave tables here and change the character. So if you put it more towards this end here, you're getting um, more high frequencies and this will make your sound a bit lower. And the same is true for the second oscillator here.
depends a bit on what you're looking for. Um, let's play it in context. So here we go. This is how you design this pad kind of lead sound with Serum and I hope to see you next time.